Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Papa Toy Elite Warrior which is their version of a mm, big legend small deluxe figure of Inferno but uh yeah <laughs> so here's the box there's not much else on each side except for the back we've got the Inferno and the uh, repaint remold of um, Grapple <laughs> So, yeah, let's stop wasting times and opening uh, up the, the box. And there's nothing in the, the box. Alright, so we've got instructions right here. Uh, we've got both instructions for a grapple on one side and Inferno on the other one. Yeah. And yeah, safe paper. Here's go. Cool. But, uh, yeah, instructions are uh, rather pretty easy. Uh, Transformation is pretty easy, so, yeah. Let's open this right now. There's a lot of accessories, which is really nice. So, this up. come on, and everything just blew off. So, we've got uh, two guns right here that just exploded out of the box. <laughs> so, first off, we've got this one right here, which looks like a flamethrower. Well, I'm not an expert, but yeah, there's a lots of nice details in it. Looks really cool. Next up, we've got a more uh, G1 esque gun. Again, looks really cool. No, no paint detail at all. Uh, next up, we've got uh, these two plugs. So first, we've got a uh, water cannon. So yeah, and we got the water hose right here, which is to say. Uh, elastic bendy rubber tube so you just have to plug the uh, water cannon inside here voila and now we have uh, water hose unfortunately you, you don't plug it anywhere so yeah whatever uh, we'll come back to this once we take the robot out and we've got also the nose the uh, O's pointy thing that we just have to replace the hand to put it in. Now it's really cool. The only thing is uh, you cannot uh, transform it with this on, so vehicle mode doesn't work at all. What do we have else? We've got the same thing, except short. It's like the same thing but expanded. And this one works though in transformation because it's pretty well, it's smaller than the hand or about the same size or yeah it's just that this one is collapsed would have been nice if both of them would have uh, just stand but yeah and final accessory we've got a replacement face now this one is really hard to see and focus but this one has an open mouth the original face is just has a slit for the mouth so yeah, it's cool. And here we have Inferno. So let's throw this away. So like I said, the mouth is just a slit mouth while the other one is open. So yeah, not a lot of difference. And as for the cannon, you can just uh, slide it into his hands like so. And I just popped the joint out, but yeah. So now he holds the hose. You can give him the tube on the other hand. Just one, two, come on. All right. So yeah, that that that's pretty much it, you know. <laughs> it's a cool gimmick, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. Uh, let's remove this. Remove this. So like I said, we can pop a the hand out of the socket and replace it with a cannon. So this is the retracted ones if you want to transform it. And if we just want to remove it and put the whoop one the bigger one here. So yeah, pretty cool. We got some replayability. But yeah. Put the hand, and of course you can put the gun in, which is, you know, obvious. 
he can hold his gun. <laughs> and, all right. All right, so uh, pretty much it for the robot mode. Uh, the well, the accessories I mean for the robot mode. Uh, uh, the robot mode itself has uh, nice articulation. The head is on a ball joint, so we can look up, down, rotate, no problem. The uh, head wings are pretty freaking tight, but it work. Uh, arms are on a ball joint. Uh, well, a swivel like this and a swivel like this. That sort of ratchet, like one. Two, one, two. Uh, we do have a swivel at the upper arm, a bend 90 degree at the arm. Uh, the shoulder likes to dislock, but yeah. Uh, on the waist, we do have rotation. The legs does move forward, it does go back, but it's kind of hindered by the uh, ladder, so that much. Can go side to side. Uh, we do have a swivel at the upper thigh, the knee bends 90 degrees, the leg does move and it is on a ball joint so it does tilt, go back, forth, so yeah, really nice. Let's remove the gun, yoink. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the robot mode, really nice looking one, uh, like I said the shoulder just loves to dislodge. Uh, quick comparison with the magic square one So yeah, the Magic square is a little bit small Here he is with the masterpiece Inferno <laughs> So a little little difference and here he is with the generation Inferno <laughs> So yeah not the smallest, but not the biggest heel either. So, so this, this, remove him. And just a final comparison. Here's with another figure from Papa Toys. So these are both Papa Toys figurines. So this is one of the reflector figure. I didn't want to pull out the uh, all of the figures since they're all the same. So yeah. All right. So. Uh, Transformation now. All right, transformation. First off, close the tiny ears right here. And yeah, raise the head up. This is just gonna help for clearance. Come to the backpack, pull it out. And it's gonna be real tight. But yeah, you pull it out like this completely and straight up, just to straighten out the uh, the uh, thing right <laughs> all right next up you want to unpeg the arms unpeg the arms and straight them up and like this just turn the arms around so that the screws goes in the back like this come to the back right here flip the head around like this straight this up close the feet on like this and as you close there's a hook right here that goes over like this and just locks the feet in so make sure to do the same thing on the other side locks close the leg both legs together like this bring the whole thing up like this make sure it's straight up like this bring this down come to the back right here and open up these two small panels open like this and make this like 90 degrees come to the arms like this and there is a peg right here that goes inside of the foot right here so peg it in same thing on the other side peg it in and voila so bring this thing down and peg both uh, tabs right here inside of the feet right here so peg it in voila and close the panels to hide the hands and next up you just flip this down and rotate it around and you can open up the ladder er, one stage so now you have a uh, elite warrior from puppet toys completely transformed so uh, yeah that's a fire truck he does roll nicely and it's pretty much it <laughs> for the truck uh, the ladder does 
oh, rotate like this it does rotate side to side and you can open it up a third stage so one two three I'll leave the second stage open just you know for appearance and one final thing you can also extend the stabilizer on each side so yeah pretty much it for a quick comparison here's with the magic square magic magic square inferno here we have the uh, masterpiece one uh, kind of tad bigger you know <laughs> and here's the generation one so now we have a nice cute family of inferno <laughs> so uh, yeah that's pretty much it for uh, Peppa Toy's uh, Inferno or as he's called Elite Warrior it's a really nice uh, figure but uh yeah it's not much it's a it, it's pretty cool for a, a um, you know small sized um, legend size uh, Inferno but there's, you know, uh, the accessories are cool, but there's no storage for the pistol. Like, all the other ones can store the pistol in here somehow, which looks cool. But this one, eh, you can, like, sort of put this on. But, yeah, somehow, I'm, I think I managed it, make it whole, or maybe it was the, the yeah, the hose. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, there's no storage for the weapons, and this really bums me out. So... Yeah, if, you, if I come back with the Magic Square one, the gun does store in between the arms, which I really love. This one doesn't, so I'm really bummed out. Because, you no, know, I love my storage and my figures, but yeah. Still a nice figure. The plastic quality is really solid. I could throw this at a wall and wouldn't break. It's really nice. But, uh, yeah, he's a tad big for a legend size. Uh, figure and it's uh, small for a deluxe one, but still really cool and the price is uh, Price is pretty much uh, nice like I think it was 24 29 dollars, which is decent Especially for the quality just the sheer quality of the plastic is amazing. So yeah still uh, I do recommend this figure even though you know no storage for the weapon in vehicle mode and he is a tad big for a uh, legend size figure, but still really nice figure if you're a fan of uh, Inferno, do go and pick it up. So, yeah, uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.